your vision. Imagine that you are, are prognosticating the future. <laughs> One uh, of my favorite hobbies. Fantastic. Excellent. So we're staring into your crystal ball, which for some reason we just didn't put on the Forgot table. Forgot to bring it with right. me. Right. Uh, what do you see as the future of biometrics? Do you think it's going to become even more widespread? I do. Now, I, I've said several times the technology is not quite as advanced as what people are led to believe on shows like Person of Interest. There are some things the technology exists today that are not being implemented. For example, if you get your internet service and your cable from the same provider, the companies have the technological ability to monitor your web surfing and then put television commercials on your television that are different than the television commercials on your neighbor's television. They can target what's on your TV screen based on your, your web surfing. That would creep people out. Mm -hmm. And even though the technology exists to do it, I'm not aware of any cable company that's actually taken the step to pilot it because they're afraid of the consumer backlash. Yeah. And so looking into my crystal ball, there are gonna be companies that continue to push the envelope, but they're gonna be treading lightly to try and avoid the, the customer backlash. How can we share information? How can we target ads to you in a more effective manner without risking your wrath because we're we're getting too intrusive. Right. There's the the Target story that was so famous where Target yes. had, had figured from behaviors and that one had people reacting in a very uh, well they were I can understand why people reacted the way they did because suddenly you realize that it doesn't take very much information on our part to share before we've really narrowed down who we are as people which is pretty phenomenal when you realize that uh, even if you think you don't share that much, it doesn't take that much to at least get an idea of who you are as a person, even if that's not your identity. Mm -hmm. you, you have at least parameters that you know. There's, there's information that can be gathered very easily, information that can be aggregated, and there are companies making billions of dollars aggregating all types of personal information. They're turning around and selling it. They're for-profit organizations and they're selling it to whoever offers the most. It's what those companies are doing with it that creeps people out, and I think in many cases justifiably. Uh, th there was an incident several years ago, I can't remember exactly when it was, but uh, one of the major airlines had offered a program, Spouses Fly Free, and this was something they were offering to their uh, frequent flyers. They got in trouble when they sent out letters following a trip saying we, we hope you and your spouse enjoyed the flight and spouses were opening these letters saying I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> not, not sure who he took with him but it wasn't me and uh, there, there were lawsuits that came out of that but it was a matter of information was being shared without the knowledge of the person that uh, that had participated and it led to some major problems at home. Uh, but, but it's those type of things that um, have people very concerned. The, the incident you mentioned with Target is a, a classic example Target had figured out a young woman was pregnant based on buying habits. They sent her coupons for uh, baby supplies. Her father found out about that, uh, did not know that she was pregnant, and kind of went ballistic of uh, why, is, why is Target sending this information to my daughter? Mm -hmm. So that type of thing, it, it just illustrates how people are very sensitive about this. And like I said, I, I believe rightly so people are sensitive about it. Uh, I'm sure you've probably seen the minority report. Yes. Uh, Okay, putting the precogs aside for a moment, <laughs> the, the other technology and minority report, I, I do see that that uh, could be a direction that the future could go. Uh, the classic scene where Tom Cruise goes walking into the mall and the talking billboard pops up and asks him if, how he liked a, a purchase that he had made last week. Mm -hmm. We are getting so, so close to that technology being available. It's, it's being held back more right now based on fear of consumer backlash than it is on the technology. Absolutely. I mean, you're seeing that in, in smartphones in the sense of they'll have the GPS system and they'll mm -hmm. realize where you are. And if you, for example, use a, a check-in service where you check in to various locations, it'll start having an, it'll, there'll be an algorithm that'll give you suggestions based upon your past behaviors. When we get to a future where perhaps our own identities can be easily ascertained by whatever environment we're in, like in the Minority Report example, we have a tailor-made custom experience that is our own, which is both interesting and useful, but also, I can understand, potentially a little creepy because it feels like it feels like the world is looking in on us. Even if that's not what's really going on, that can be uh, a natural reaction. In my undergrad studies, I had a professor and he 
didn't seem to be an especially hypocritical person, but he made the comment to me once, well, made the comment to the whole class, my absolute worst nightmare is I'm having a party at my house and everyone I know is there. And he said, I don't know who to be because, like I say, he, he didn't seem to be an especially hypocritical person, but he behaves a little bit different around people at work than he does around people from you know, other aspects of his life. And when they all get together, you know, I've got this person and this person that I'm friends with both, but these two hate each other's guts. Mm -hmm. And th this idea of, of who I am being available to the whole public, uh, it's kind of putting people in awkward situations. We're seeing glimpses of that through some of the Facebook controversies, but uh, I think that's probably going to continue to escalate. Well, Dr. Padfield, this has been a phenomenal discussion. I have to thank you very much for your perspective on biometrics, on privacy, on the possibly amazing and yet a little terrifying future <laughs> that we have in front of us. We, we have a wild ride ahead of us, I believe. It has been my pleasure being here with you today. Thank you so much again, I appreciate it. You're welcome, thank you. Now guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, you subscribe to our channel. We have so many more great ideas in the future, but we don't have a patent on great ideas. We allow you to have great ideas too. So when you have a great idea and you want us to cover it, leave it in the comments below. We read every single one. We look forward to hearing from you and we'll talk to you again soon.